The bold and unique looking project was aimed at making bikers feel safer and creating an efficient artery up and down the Mission District. They run on Valencia from 15th to 23rd and have made driving on the street a bit more of a headache. Data on the project's impact are still limited, but Jose Martinez spent the day there and found, one, found out why one business owner is so against the lanes. Confusion is the common denominator here on Valencia Street, where residents are telling me that since they installed a new bike lane, they've seen fewer bikers, fewer cars, and fewer businesses. This is what the bike lane near the corner of Valencia and 19th Street looked like this Friday afternoon, mostly empty. If you don't know the neighborhood and you come into my business from a, with a bike, it's going to be really difficult for you to figure out. And you're putting yourself in a huge danger. Yet Aldo Wally has owned Jasmine Restaurant since 2019, one of several businesses struggling financially. He says this controversial bike lane is not working out for anybody, including bikers. There is no clear left. There is no clear U-turn. The other cars are very confused. So you, you are putting yourself in a big, and, and once you put yourself in that position and you put yourself in danger, you don't not want to come back. So he says the reality these days is just fewer bikers, cars, and businesses. We know that there's been a decrease for bikers coming to the corridor. There's been a decrease in uh, you know folks coming to the businesses, right? And while they might not have presented the data or made the data public yet, right, because they haven't really been able to compile it, like folks on the actual corridor are feeling the impact, right? It's a lot slower moving out here, um, you know, and businesses are closing, right? At least. 10, says Kevin Ortiz and Delta Medina. Both are bikers, longtime mission residents, and members of the SF Latinx Democratic Club. There's no new bike parking on this one block. So this isn't a part of a comprehensive conversation around the bike lane at all or biking in general. But the SFMTA says that average daily bike volume is estimated to be 3% higher. Now, the agency acknowledged that they are listening to these concerns and reminded everyone that this pilot program could be adjusted. In a statement, as FMTA said in part, there are no easy decisions when it comes to Valencia Street, so we need to come together and be open-minded as we discuss what's best for the economic vitality of the neighborhood. What would have been ideal was like, you know, in a lot of European cities, they have the bike lane in between the parking and the sidewalk, which is what they had before. I don't know, it's hard to say. And that's what Ia tells me all they can do is stay united trying to find answers to all this confusion. This one is just unite all of us to say that this is a really bad idea, we really need to do something about it and not say, oh, it's an experimental uh, situation and promising us dates and lying to us and never coming straight. They keep saying next month, next month, next month, but I think this is going to stay for years. And ultimately, they all agree on one thing. They want to have a conversation with the city before it's too late.